yeah, the turbo is obviously has a very unique, unique sound, completely different to the V8. Um, but especially with our DTM cars, with our Audi RS5, this, this noise downshifting is something very special, I would say. And even on the on the straight, the cars are very loud. I started uh, 2003, 2004, championship called Formula BMW. I went to Polo Cup, Seat Cup, Porsche Cup, and they were all part of the DTM, basically. So this was always my goal, um, to be one day in a DTM seat with Audi. And yeah, we, we worked for that very, very hard and very long. Yeah. <laughs> It was the 16th of July. Uh, I watched uh, the race, and then I was, uh, I was, I was actually thinking, okay, I've never, ever gonna be driving in DTM because I was by that time I was 29 already. And then, uh, in the same evening, I got a call. If I want, I can replace uh, Adrian uh, Tambe, who basically had a, an incident at the start and uh, hurt his his hand. On the one hand, obviously, I was very excited to be <laughs> racing in DTM. On the other hand, obviously, I, was, I wasn't prepared at all. Yeah, I had no clue whatsoever what to do there. I didn't know how to engage the first gear. And then somebody had to tell me how to put the first gear in. And yeah, that's finally how I got, got rolling into the practice. Yeah, it was, it was a very special one. I would say the DTM weekend in Hockenheim was my promotion for a full season seat. We had a good race, we collected first points on Saturday. And Rennie Rast with his DRS uh, gets past uh, Tom Blomqvist to take up that P6 position. Yeah, I was much better prepared for that weekend as well, so I think this was my promotion for, for the full season drive for next year then. It was always my main target to be in DTM uh, one day. And, um, you know, to, to have achieved that, to be DTM full factory driver was already for me, one of the biggest achievements in, in my life. And it's DTM time. We are racing here at Spielberg in Austria. Grady Rast's going to slot into second place. And it's Rene Rast that wins here at Spielberg. It's fence off Rene Rast. Rast loses the place, though, to Wittmann. The whole season was, was an up and down season. DTM, you take it, you that win! Is Rennie Rast sliding so against that concrete. Rennie Rast involved in that. Rennie Rast is about to go third. Could he be the DTM champion this year? He makes it, can he, can he, can he? Yes, he can! Rennie Rast, the winner's trophy! And I went to the weekend and I said, I just do my best and see what happens. Finishing in the top three of the championship, that's more than we ever <laughs> expected. And then it just came, everything just came together. Jamie, Matthias, Mike, they had, you know, just some bad luck. They had penalties. The pace wasn't there for some of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I tried to keep, keep my head down and keep my head cool, um, because I knew that we can win the championship in the last race. Five lights now. Let's go racing. And my dream was to be a DTM driver, but not to winning winning the title. Um, I was still miles away of this of this thought, being a DTM champion one day, and suddenly it was there from one second to the next. The championship prediction: if it stays this way, Renny Rast will win the championship by one point from Matthias Ekstrom. I saw the checkered flag. I finished second in that race, and uh, the only the only radio call I got from an engineer was. Uh, well done, good drive. Great drive, great drive. And I was like, okay, that's it. Well done, mate. We're not champion. And um, I was actually sad in that moment. But uh, obviously then uh, they were just waiting for Matthias um, to, to cross the finish line. And um, that the result is basically official. And then they started to scream. And then I knew we made it. Rennie Rast becomes the 2017 DTM champion. <coughs> it is such an emotional high that you come to the end of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone, it is our new champion, Rene Rast. <laughs> 2018 was a tough one. Um, 
especially the beginning, I would say. We weren't there, we hadn't, we hadn't had the pace. And on top of that, we also had in, in Lautzring this, this accident, which basically threw us all even further away. And it goes, oh, look at that, not only does it go over. Oh, there he is. But somehow the season completely changed at one point and we, we picked up pace. And um, yeah, we, we started to, to fight for podiums. All of a sudden we won the first race in, in Sanford. Yeah, and then um, we had this incredible six uh, wins in a row journey, uh, which, uh, yeah, I would say was one of the best of my life. Yeah, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. History. <laughs> Rennie Rast is getting closer, 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 but not close enough, I don't think, Ricky. But then under braking, look how much speed he can the, the battle with Gary, I mean, all fair, fair and square. Uh, we had fun, um, you know, and it was it was just a cool, cool last race weekend with him. I respect him a lot as a driver, as a person, and uh, yeah, it was just very cool. Two three was going to be enough for Gary Paffett to become the 2018 DTM champion. Congratulations, Gary, you rocked it. the first time on uh, I think a test track and um, basically going flat out I straight away felt that wow this car has so much more power and it's, uh, it's such an incredible machine um, even though the engine is so small uh, it had so much power and I, I remember those vibrations were completely new and every little screw or a piece of the car was affected by the vibrations. Also, your whole body is vibrating, your hands are vibrating, your, your whole head is vibrating, as well as the windscreen is vibrating. Everything is just vibrating. After, after one hour of driving, you feel that if you're jumping out of the car, even like 10 hours after, you can feel your hands like, like yeah, vibrating slightly. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a cool feeling. <laughs> It's a bit more quiet, um, but it's a, it's a completely different characteristic. Especially while you know while braking and downshifting, it just with the ALS system, it makes something it's very unique and uh, very cool. DTM for 2019. Let's go racing! You have to change your driving style indeed uh, quite a lot. Um, you know, with the with the turbo um, engine, obviously the power is a bit delayed. In the moment you go on full power, there's not much happening, but then all of a sudden you get a big boost and a big kick. I mean, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a big, uh, big applause to those guys who, who made it happen, to build the whole car, to build the engine, to make everything stick in the, in the short winter time. And uh, it was just, uh, yeah, it was the first victory for, for a turbo. Uh, engine DTM car in that in that time, and I would just want to say uh, thanks to to everybody who yeah who helped uh, developing that car. Yeah, the 2019 season was a bit of a roller coaster as well. Um, we knew we had the pace um, because in Hockenheim, um, yeah, I was I was second um, in the first race. And we had a technical problem. I won the Sunday race, and this basically continued almost till halfway through the season. Um, and so the championship went, yeah, went uh, or stayed pretty close in the beginning. And then on one one day, basically, uh, Nico joins the party. Nico Müller. in the DTM Championship for 2019 as the first race of two at the Nürburgring got underway and it was a really ambitious start from Nico Muller. Yeah, we knew obviously um, that Nico, Nico was a big threat um, for the title, uh, but somehow he, he had a very um, bad weekend at the Nürburgring. Nico Muller then made an early trip into the pit lane to serve that drive through penalty. An extraordinary win for René Rast who looked really polished and comfortable. When suddenly my engineer said, uh, you're the DTM champion, I was like, okay, this was uh, kind of surprising and like I didn't expect it. And Are we champion or not? 
<laughs> he still doesn't quite um, believe yeah, it. Yeah, champion, René. I got the confirmation. Well done, mate. <laughs> yeah! Hey, there Leo, he goes. Leo! Well done. Um, yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah, the, the second title feels different compared to the first. You know, those, those, uh, those memories will stick forever. And the, the party we had, um, or the moment I came back to the team, we were all... Uh, yeah, you know, we were all kind of excited and all um, hugging each other and I, I could just see all the relief of the whole team and the moment uh, we were working for just suddenly was there and it was just something uh, really, really special for us. Nico Muller, race winner, Renny Rast, of course, the DTM champion, was P3. Two times champion, one time vice champion, no words, I mean, it's something I would never have uh, dared to dream about. It, it, it feels like uh, I just started my DTM career like yesterday and now it's already my fourth year. Um, we hope that, that we can make it a good last one. I personally, I will try to, yeah, to enjoy as most as I can, as much as I can, and just suck in every, every moment um, because it's going to be the last one for Audi Sport, for myself, with Audi Sport and DTM. So I try to, yeah, to put the pressure a little bit away, maybe also not I mean, obviously I want to win, I want to focus on winning, but maybe I focus a bit too much on winning <laughs> the last years, and I couldn't really enjoy um, the racing, and this year I might, might try to enjoy it.